Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve question number 6 of exercise 13.2 and the question says a solid iron pole consists of a cylinder of height 220 centimeters and base diameter is 24 centimeters which is surmounted by another cylinder of height 60 centimeters and radius 8 centimeters. You have to find the mass of the pole given that 1 cm cube of iron has approximately 8 gram mass. Now you have to use here the value of pi as 3.14 cm. Now first of all let's make a diagram of, for this pole. It is given that the pole is consists of a cylinder whose height is 220 centimeters the height is 220 centimeters and the diameter here is 24 centimeters so obviously if the diameter is 24 centimeters radius will be half of this diameter which is 12 centimeters and there is another cylinder which is surmounted by an, uh, which is surmounted on this cylinder of height 60 centimeter and radius 8 centimeter means there is there is another cylinder which is placed on the top of this cylinder like this and the radius of this cylinder is 8 centimeter and the height is 60 centimeter and the height of this cylinder is 60 centimeter you need to find the mass when 1 centimeter cube of iron has 8 gram mass means when the volume is 1 centimeter cube the weight of that iron piece must be 8 gram so you need to find first of all if you need to find the mass that will be equal to the volume multiplied by its unit weight. Here the mass will be equal to the unit weight is 8 gram and this can be written as 8 upon 1000 kgs multiplied by its volume. So I hope you understood, understands how to convert kg into grams or grams into kgs for that you can remember that 1 kg is equals to 1000 grams now if you want to convert kg into grams means you have to convert 1 kg into 1000 grams and how to convert 1 into 1000 for that you have to multiply 1 with 1000 so by this you can remember whenever you have to convert kgs into gram you have to multiply it with 1000 if I am saying 3 kg is equal to how many grams? So in that case you will say 3 multiplied by 1000 grams. And if the process is reversed, means now you have to convert grams into kgs. For that you have to convert 1000 into 1. And how to convert that? 1000 can be converted into 1 by dividing by 1000. So if you are, if you are saying you have to convert 20 grams into kgs, in that case you have to divide this by 1000 so you have to divide this by 1000 similarly if you want to convert 8 grams in that case you have to convert 8 dividing by 1000 now the important part is you need to find the volume of this uh, this iron pole and obviously the volume of this complete pole will be the volume of this cylinder plus this cylinder so the volume will be the volume of the pole will be equal to the volume of the smaller cylinder this is cylinder plus the volume of bigger cylinder and volume of the pole will be equal to the volume of the smaller cylinder that is the volume of the cylinder is pi r square for smaller pi r square h plus the volume of the bigger will be pi r square h for the bigger the radius and height is uh, is assumed capital R capital H and for the smaller it is assumed small n 
small h. Now I can take pi as common. Uh, for smaller cylinder, the radius is 8 centimeter. The radius is 8 centimeters, so this will be 8 into 8 is 64. Multiplied by height, and height is 60. Plus, here it will be R for the capital one, which is 12. Multiplied by 12 is 1.144. Pi is taken out, so only R square and H will remain inside the bracket. Uh, the value of R is 12, so the 12 square will be 144 multiplied by H. And H is 220 here. Now I have to use the value of pi as 3.14, which can be written as 3.14 upon 100. <coughs> now if you want to have to solve this, first of all I have to solve these two values. First of all I have to multiply. Okay, 60 multiplied by 64 will be 3840. Similarly if you want to multiply this, this will be 22 multiplied by 144. This will be 22 multiplied by 4 is 88. Carry 8. <clears throat> 22 into 4 is 88 plus 8 will be 96. Carry 9. And 22 into 1 is 22 plus 9 is 31. Now further solving this. If you are not able to multiply this orally, you can multiply these two numbers like this. Now this will be z multiplied by this will be 0 so adding these two number 34520 will come out these two values can be cancelled now if I have to further solve this <coughs> I have to solve this as 1, 4 multiplied by 3, 4, 5, 2 upon 10. Now, this will be the volume here. And if you substitute this volume here, which is 8 upon 1000 is multiplied by, this is 3, 1, 4 is multiplied by 3, 4, 5, 2 upon 10. And if you multiply these three numbers, uh, don't uh, cancel this here because it is not cancelling completely. So instead of cancelling this, that will make your calculation lengthy. You have just multiply these three numbers and at the last place 1, 2, 3, 4. Count 4 from the right and place 1 decimal over there. So this is how you can solve and this weight will be in kgs because we have already converted gram into kgs i hope you can multiply these numbers and multiplying these numbers your answer will be there so this is how you can solve this particular question i hope you have understood how to solve this question if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem in maths you can directly contact to us the phone number the email address and the whatsapp number is given below in the description Thank you.